Hi folks, welcome back. It's Lynn with PFM Arts. You know, I was going to do a video about uh, some more of how to complete a travel journal and I thought to myself, you know, it'd be really cool if I could incorporate pictures in here and show you how to do that as well. And then I realized I didn't have any pictures of this trip printed out because it was from forever ago. So I remembered that I had just ordered this sprocket printer because I wanted to take it with us on the motorcycle trips and I already got it charged up but I haven't really done anything with it and I was like you know what let's let's just figure this out together and so this is kind of an unboxing how-to type thing but I have taken it out of the box and I did charge it up and I did download the app to my husband's phone so I can show you I'm recording with my phone so inside the box you get the actual printer itself and as you can see it's not it's not that big it's about the size of my hand not very thick either probably about an inch maybe less so I mean this will pack up really really nicely uh, you also get 10 of the sticky backed photo sheets and this is a sprocket 200 I ordered it off Amazon I don't remember how much I paid for it but I'll look look at it in just a minute and you get this instructions and then there's a product registry information yep nobody looks at that okay so moving on all right so the sprocket 200 getting started so install the hp sprocket app which i did on my husband's phone and it says that the, ha the app will help you load paper connect and print and then follow the instructions on the app and that is pretty much the end of the paper instructions because everything's digital these days okay so let's go over to my husband's phone like I said I already downloaded the app and I already signed in and when you sign into the app let me see how bad is this glare okay it's not that bad it says set up my sprocket my friend sprocket or explore sprocket so let's set up my printer so all right this is what it does by continuing blah 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 okay um I don't want it to automatically collect anything so I'm not going to check those boxes uh, yeah I'm sure stop being creepy um, let me see here enable the full spro sprocket experience um, I don't want you to discover my location because again that's creepy but photo gallery I mean okay all right allow that and then oh I have to, I have to do it okay let's just do only this time because that's weird okay so which kind do I have I have a sprocket 200 okay so sprocket 200 and it says that I'm supposed to plug in the USB cord okay which I already did and then when not charging press and hold the power button until the LEDs light up okay here's the power button press and hold until the LEDs light up okay it lit up next I did it load the paper lift the lid to remove what lid oh my cat's coming to help this ought to be good lift the lid okay it's pointed like this and load the blue card the blue card barcode down maybe this will help if I actually open up the paper here comes my cat to help hello you're helping yeah you're helping okay all right you're oh you're gonna give me lovies you know you're not helping right you know this you know you're probably gonna wreck this with all your fur you do okay all right my cat everyone my cat okay um this says that i shouldn't be touching this but i don't know how to get it out without touching it oh all right this is okay oh yeah here we are must load facing down whoops all right so the blue goes down I was just looking to see if it had like a direction on here, but it doesn't seem to have an upper or down. So I'm going to load this facing down. Hello. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, okay. he's going to ride on my shoulder now. This is, this is helpful. Okay. So I'm sorry if she messed with the mic. You know, cat things. All right. But the HP logo is facing down. All right. You're going to have to hold still. All right. I did it. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to put this back on. Um, which side was which side? All right, well, this says HP Sprocket, and that says HP, so I'm going to put it on like this. Okay. Oh, and the paper? The paper is doing that? 
Okay, available devices, the sprocket. Okay. And it says to pair, and I'm pairing. Okay, look, I have this blue paper, so that's good. Um, okay, and then I click next. Bluetooth is on, so let's see what happens. It says searching for printer. Okay, the printer is definitely on because I see a light. Okay, things. Um, let me go device control. No, not that. Oh yeah, here, look. It just suddenly popped up. Okay, let's add that guy. Okay, it's connected. It's pairing. And name your printer. I'm going to call it Tiny Printer. Oh, and you can set your LED color too. Look at that. Uh, let's set it to this obnoxious pink. Ooh, look at that. Actually, that looks kind of angry. Let's go with the green. Yeah, let's go with the green. Okay, tiny printer. Okay, your devices are paired. We did it. Okay, so let's continue to gallery. And I'm just going to scroll through here. And I'm going to find a picture of something that was fairly recent. Um... Let's see here. Okay, so this is over the weekend when we were at the sandbar. That's, um, is that me? Oh, uh, yes, me and the daughter in the distance doing some fishing at the good old sandbar. All right, so I have gone to the gallery. I've chosen a photo, and now I'm going to print, press the print button here. And it says it's sending it to the printer. See what it says? My photo will now print. Okay, so action shot. My photo will now print. Okay. Let's see. This is actually pretty exciting. I'm sure that there was probably a way that I could edit it or do something different to this. Oh, look at that. There's a, while well, that's doing, there's a, there's a button for tiles so I could have actually made a larger photo out of this. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this is the first print that I've done on this printer and honestly, the quality on camera between the two it looks about the same, I think, on the camera, but in person, it is way different. And maybe this photo was just too vibrant or something because the... So the sand is like this, this grayish, tannish color, and in the print that actually came out, it looks, I don't know, like a dusty rose or like a mauve or something like that. It's kind of weird. Um, and it's also kind of pixelated as well, so... Maybe this thing has a problem with converting the the like the really good high quality digital photos into something that prints. Okay, so I'm gonna pick something else. No, oh, how about uh, this is this is actually my my other cat here. She was she was helping my mom do some some crocheting probably. So let's try this one. I mean, this one's a little bit darker. So let's see what happens. I'm going to print another one. I'm just going to print that one. Okay. Let's see what happens. It says it's sending. All right. Let's see what we got. Maybe it'll do a little bit better than this. But so these are, what's the size? I think they're like two by three. Yeah, they're two by three. So honestly, it's perfect for the size of travel journal that I make. And I'll show you that in just a second. Man, I hope this one turns out. Well, I mean, this was the first print, so maybe, maybe it was an issue with the ink. Okay, so that was the original photo. Oh, and there's a place that you could edit the photo too. I wonder what you could do with that. Let's find out while that's printing. Oh. It's not super enjoying doing that. Okay, so while that's doing, so... 
again the color is a little bit off the oh here we go with the edit yeah the color is a little bit off um it's darker it's not picking up some of the details on here hmm i'm really not sure if i'm happy with this purchase at this point guys to be perfectly honest with you it's not it's not picking up on the details very well at all but then again you know i'm not sure i guess i should have printed this out on my regular printer first and see if it did any better but i mean you can still kind of see what's going on and i guess for a travel journal you know it's okay but let's see what we have here so we have some uh, light corrections that we can do in here and then um, change kind of the color scheme that's going on a little bit okay and then you can add text and add borders oh look at that that's cute it's kind of derpy but it's cute sorry let me bring it up a little bit summer i don't think my cat likes summer or fall Ooh, halloween definitely my cat loves halloween let's see here what else do we have oh some borders too that's actually kind of cute happy mother's day okay that's cute and then adding stickers on here as well and then text and then what is this just a paintbrush yeah it's just a paintbrush and then of course you can crop it down as well yeah okay cool all right so basically all the same uh photo editing options that you would have in like your the regular standard gallery that's on your phone okay so let's look at okay so i mean so it's easy to use i will say that it's really easy to use um it's fairly inexpensive i want to say it was less than actually i think i ordered more of this of this paper because this only comes with 10 sheets and i've already used two um, i think i spent right about a hundred dollars and it came and i ordered the extra paper pack on top of it maybe it was like 120 with the extra paper but all right anyway so this is this is my normandy journal that i was working on before obviously these are not normandy pictures but they're a really good size to go in in these size travel journals that i make i'm not sure i'm not sure if i would necessarily recommend the printer but i will say it was it was relatively relatively inexpensive i guess on the spectrum of things and it was it was really easy to set up um and it came from amazon so i got here really quickly so i guess those are those are kind of the positives um and it is it is very very small and highly transportable so let's see here i've got this this grid sitting right here so let's see exactly how big this thing is um there's the corner here so we have um it's about three inches wide and about four 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 and a half long this way so three by four and a half that's not bad it's a little bit smaller than an index card then so i don't know i don't know i mean i'm still gonna use it but i don't know about the i don't know about the print quality because this is just so dark this poor little kitty cat looks like a blob but i mean to be perfectly honest she is kind of a little blob anyway that's all right well Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video um, and the, the the somewhat review and the quote-unquote unboxing and somewhat setup of what we're doing here. Um, I'm sure that you'll... Oh, I forgot to say, these things are sticky on the back, too. Or maybe I already did. Let me see. Let's see how well they stick. You know what? I'm going to stick the kitty cat on the... No, I want to stick the kitty cat on the printer. Hang on. Let's stick the kitty cat on the printer. Why? because all the printers need to have kitty cats okay so let's do that yeah it's it's actually fairly adhesive i think if i was going to use it in a journal i would probably just add uh, a little bit of glue to it because i don't trust any any of the adhesive to be perfectly honest with you yeah that's cute though look at that probably would have been cuter if i would have done a little bit of cropping but whatever anyway so thanks for watching guys hope you have a great day bye